What was that? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Okay. This, this is, this is what's going on. So what I decided, my camera battery needs to charge. So I'm going to charge this one. Hold on. My head. What I was thinking is... I like doing more like interactive videos with you guys and in 2023 like technically I'm starting 2023 now because I just got back from Europe and honestly I have not been making very much content like when I was there and so this month has been like the start of 2023 for me because I didn't count that because I like didn't have the resources of like creating the way that I can create while I'm here at home so I thought that I know you guys used to like my like work with me's and personally when I'm doing Depop photos and I'm working I like to put on like a podcast or something and I like to put on like I do like three hours of photos at a time pretty much and so that's like sometimes it depends like I watch H3 I don't know if you guys watch H3 but like the reason I watch him so like consistently is because he puts out like three hour podcasts and like that gets me through like a whole thing of taking photos I thought like why not do like a work with me but like not podcast format because obviously I'm not a podcaster I mean we can talk but I thought like why not set up my camera and I literally just take my photos with you guys and I just talk to you guys a little bit and if you guys have something to do like if you have like to do your depop photos or if you have homework or something it's like just background noise and i'll just edit out the parts like the reason i was like thinking about doing like a live video but the reason that i don't think that's a good idea is in case like i forget that i'm live and you see my coochie or something because i'm changing and stuff so when i'm cutting this video up a little bit i'm gonna pretty much keep it as is but the only parts are like is if i'm changing or something i will probably take that out and see how this goes I don't know I feel like I'm trying new things I want to try new things this year and just get back into a lot more like content creation I'm also starting to do starting to work on my whatnot um video account everything I'm starting to try to do whatnot a little bit 2023 is for me as I'm trying new things that's what I've decided to do because like who cares who cares I brought back what to wear Wednesday it's a rebirth I'm feeling good I'm feeling myself again I'm feeling good because I've been going to the gym so much too and I thought like why not just like sit down no I'm not even gonna sit down I'm literally gonna be working talk to you guys about things that just pop in my head and you know keep it casual keep it cute keep it fun and you know work with me I don't know what do you guys think about this little situation obviously I know you guys love trip to the thrifts I girl can only do so many trip to the thrifts like I literally I'm giving you lots lately of that. I've been doing a lot of thrifting in when I was in Europe and I, that's all I filmed. So I needed a little break from thrifting because my wallet was like chill out. My inventory was like chill out. You have too much stuff and the fact that I shipped it all back is insane. But I'm going to basically just take some photos of things that I've thrifted. Obviously I'm still thrifting. Like I'm about to go for a trip to the thrift in like two days for my whatnot. Um... But I'm trying to like not thrift as much. And okay, well, what do you guys think? I guess we'll just get into this. I'm going to go plug this charger in because I don't want my camera to die. Because that would literally defeat the purpose. I'm also like a little bit like, well, what am I supposed to listen to? But I guess nothing. <laughs> I guess I'll just freaking talk. Hour or so, but I don't even know exactly what I'm going to talk about. I guess we'll just take photos. I'll show you pieces. I'll talk to you guys about things. Depop. If you guys want like to leave like in the in the comments below like things maybe that you want me to talk about if I do this again. Like this is a super quick easy video. I could literally put one of these out every single day. Realistically, this is so easy. So and I take Depop photos like every other day and you guys can just see my process without seeing my <laughs> my everything because I'm gonna cut that part so don't get excited if anybody's watching <laughs> I'm also gonna have to cut the parts where I'm like texting people back and doing all that but on like and just like music like super low super super low if that would cause us to be 
demonetized probably youtube is so good at picking up like the smallest sounds like even when i used to do trip to the thrifts at valley village and some certain valley village blasts the music sometimes the like it will be in the background and it get it gets picked up and i'm like i'm like trying to cut the video and i'm like trying to cut it slice it so you can't hear like specific wording oh it can be such a disaster like there's one specific that i i used to go to all the time where it was in my university town and they would just blast the music I don't go on seniors day as much i mean i haven't been home in so long so i think that's probably why i'm, I'm saying that but they literally blast the music at the valley village that i go to on tuesdays like seniors music maybe they don't do that as much anymore but they definitely did okay what are we starting with okay so i'm aiming to like start to do a little more summary and i packed up like two huge bags to bring to florida to shoot depot photos down there so that's all gone so that's like a hundred other pieces of summer stuff that i'm trying to deal with once i get down there and yeah what are we gonna do i definitely want to start with like a couple of the other things that from europe like this cargo skirt is so good so i think we'll start with her because i really want to get her on i also might reshoot this Set, this Moschino set that I thrifted as well like some of the times the photos like when I was taking photos there I only had like a super small ring light and it just wasn't giving some of the pieces justice of like what they deserve I don't even know where the pants are to the jacket though I need to find that un momento I definitely have so many things that I want to shoot I also want to do a couple of these prom dresses okay found them i also found this skirt that i'm gonna do today i also have a couple of these really good prom dresses look how good look how good this dress is it's vintage le chateau it's red like i feel like this would be perfect for prom for somebody and i think that i want to shoot this today let's start with the dress let's start with the dress i think that's the way to go i think that's the the attack i also want to do some sunglasses i haven't done any sunglasses in so long and it's starting to be summertime i just don't have as many as i used to anymore because when i did the pop-ups like a lot of sunglasses sold and plus like i don't buy as many because value village like they're so expensive they're like ten dollars for a pair of sunglasses and like are, are you tripping like i'm not gonna try to sell sunglasses for more than like twenty dollars like i used to sell them for like 15 18 dollars now it's like why why would i even waste my time unless they're like super cool but okay yes i don't know i'm just getting naked in front of you guys like okay i don't even know if you can see how perfectly this fits me I don't know if I should sell this. Like, what if I need it for something? It literally fits me perfectly. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'll sell it. I don't need it for anything. I wish that I had somewhere to go. Do I have any weddings or anything? I feel like a red dress is kind of like promiscuous to wear to a wedding. Am I wrong? I've definitely worn a red dress to a wedding. <gasps> oh when I was younger I definitely love red I think red is like my favorite color to wear I just feel like it's just so okay I lowered it so maybe you guys can have a better angle I think this dress is oh my god it's gorgeous I also have my coffee I don't even know if I showed that yet but okay let the photos begin a whole bunch of people just like in this car that's parked out in front of my house hello can we help you and i live in a court so it's like weird i'm just gonna play it by ear honestly anyone else just start like feeling themselves when they're taking depot photos like sometimes if i really like an outfit like i'm going in I'm going in and I'm taking so many photos just because I feel like I look so good. We're right now because I feel like I'm being watched and like low-key nobody's watching me. I need to know your your guys' opinion on like taking photos. Like do you guys take them? 
like this? Do you use a mannequin? Like what I find the best way for me personally is trying on the clothes. Like if I do a mannequin or a flat lay or anything else, the only thing that I'm answering all day is people being like, can I get a try on? Can I get a try on? Can I get a try on? So I don't even do it anymore because it's just like such a pain. This dress is gorgeous. Anyways, I feel like we should talk about my Value Village boycott. I'm just like, I just cannot get over the pricing. And I'm actually thinking about starting to go to the bins. I've never been somebody to go to the bins. It's like an hour away from me. But honestly, I think it's starting to be something that I'm going to consider because Value Village, like, it's insane. The prices, the pricing is insane. And I just can't justify it anymore. Like, I used to be like, okay, like, I can still, like, sell and, like, I'll be fine, like, whatever. But I honestly just can't justify spending, like, $50 or, like, on a coat or, like, it's like ten dollars for a shirt like even for myself like personally like when I go thrifting for myself and the enjoyment of like thrifting for myself I don't even buy the things that I want for myself because I can't even justify it like I'm like okay this is like $9.99 or like $15 for this shirt like I don't even personally I'm like I don't even justify this for myself because I'm like okay whatever I can find this somewhere cheaper and like when I go to the when I was in Europe especially like the things were so inexpensive and then like coming back here is just like such a slap in the face and I just can't deal with it anymore and I just feel like they're just like so greedy so either I'm gonna go to like smaller smaller thrift stores and I'm also going to be in the states like in Florida it's cheaper for sure like you can find like mom haul shops for a lot less money I'm just like over it I'm just so over it <laughs> another just absolutely stunning prom dress I thrifted these last year like in the summertime both of them and I was like okay I'll wait till like prom season a little bit more next year so I'm just taking them out now this is vintage bb i believe it is gorgeous like you show up in this like nobody has this like you're gonna be that girl and i feel like this is everything i love like oh i also feel like it fits me so much better now i've obviously i don't know if you guys know but i've been on my like health journey i mean you guys if you've been following me for a long 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 time you guys know that i literally have always been like pretty skinny decently fit and stuff and then because i played varsity basketball but when covid hit there was the gym like it was so different here in canada they just like didn't have any gyms open at all which was really annoying and I just kept eating like the same way that I was like literally running up and down a court every single day and I ended up gaining like a little bit too much weight I think for myself personally this can be triggering to some people so like you can just skip if you don't want to talk about this stuff but this is just my own personal experience and like for me it's like I literally try on clothes for a living I do this as a living so you can really tell when like you're, you feel like things aren't fitting the same and like clothes are my life so I definitely like there's nothing wrong with it but I wasn't happy in my with myself in a sense of like I was just being lazy and not and like not working out and that's what makes me like happy and it, it, it gives me like better mental health and it's like more so like um like as much as aesthetically I like to look a certain way it's a, such a mental thing as well and I think that's super important for me and then I'm like happier because I feel better and more confident in myself so it's like a two-way factor but I definitely it's been a year now since I've been on this like workout health journey and I definitely feel so much better with everything and I feel like I'm definitely like almost to the same point that I was like a few years ago and it's such a big it's such a big thing to talk about because I know that it's such a touchy subject but honestly it needs to be talked about at the same time like I feel like if you feel comfortable in your skin that's what matters the most 
but from somebody who's like never had any body issues to, to feeling that way it's like such a weird thing and I never understood people when they would talk about it I'd be like I don't get it because I never felt that way because I was an athlete I ate whatever I wanted and I still looked like literally so carved and I didn't understand until I felt that way and now I understand so it was definitely like a wake-up call but we are feeling good and I'm feeling healthy and I'm really just focusing on gut health and working out and my body's gonna do what it wants to do and I pretty much just obviously it was a lot easier for me because I just snatched back into like I have so much muscle underneath because of all my years of training and stuff so it was a pretty quick like snap back but I'm glad to be back and I'm I'm happy to be like back to where I want to be and you guys are always asking about my workouts and stuff like that and I okay let me finish this one okay I feel like for my workouts and stuff like I do something different but the same like I'm just very consistent with what I do every single day like every day I'll be like I work out five times a day uh, five times a day five times a week and I do cardio every day and I do weights and I just like consistently do the same exercises throughout the weeks and sometimes I switch it up and I try some different things but I don't have like a set schedule like a set workout routine and that's kind of like like for telling you guys what my workout schedule is it's so much harder and I just don't even know where to begin with that because like it's such like out of my realm and then like I feel like there's so many people that do workouts like just go on TikTok and search out search up some good workouts and you'll find somebody who you resonate with because I feel like for me like creating a video like that like I go to the gym to go to the gym and I don't want to be longer than I there than I have to so like filming a whole routine while I'm there I'm just like I cannot fathom people staring at me while doing that but that was close for the most part I just do a lot of cardio and a lot of weights and I'm there for an hour and I do two leg days I do a back day and I do arms and shoulders and then I'll do like if I not like if I don't want to go to the gym but I want but I need to get it done I'll do like a full cardio and abs and that's like my my workout split and then I've just been eating a lot of protein and just trying to get my gut health on track and like su and track and supplementing as I need to with my gut health gut health I also take L-glutamate L-glutamine which has been really helpful so yeah that is the last that we're gonna talk about that for now let's do another dress I feel like I'm in the mood for dresses this gorgeous blue stunning and yeah my camera's gonna die we knew this was gonna happen so hopefully my other one is charged in time okay let's do these shoes with it I feel like this is so cute this is like vintage Le Chateau and the other one was guess uh, Mar Marciano vintage I thought it was BB but it's guess um okay she's so cute so summery definitely here for the summery vibes I've been starting to like get so much more into color again which is like it makes me super happy because at one point like I was like hating color for like a hot minute just I think it was just the amount that I was seeing like a lot of like fast fashion brands like kind of copying um like old early 2000s like vibes and early 2000s like styles and stuff and I just saw so much of it that I I was like I feel so unoriginal and I just feel like everything is like looking the same and nothing is looking like new and fresh and that was kind of like so I was like really gravitating just toward like neutrals for a hot second because I was like I don't like the looks oh God, I need to fix these straps one minute I also got this little mirror here now this honestly it's a little bit big for me oh my gosh this is so cute I feel like Lizzie McGuire vibes but yeah as I was saying I just feel like I would walk into like H&M or even just like on TikTok and like people would be doing like hauls like Shein hauls or something like I'm completely off that TikTok now like I don't see any fast fashion which is so good but like I, I think during like COVID times and like just after COVID people because they couldn't shop like go out and shop 
they were just so, like over consuming Shein and it was literally driving me insane because now in the thrift all you see is like all of the Shein that like nobody wants anymore from like the micro trends and that's the difference between like buying something at the thrift or getting something off of depop that's early 2000s like it, I, I will never look at something and be like I don't really like this anymore because I'm like I know it's an original whereas like when you buy something from like Shein or H&M I just feel like it's mocking me like I would like walk in there and like into garage and I'm like I feel like it's mocking my style almost <laughs> like I don't know how to explain it but I was like a little bit offended because I was like this is what you guys think of like early 2000s like I just want to like puke like I want to die like but I get it it's what happens in style and fashion and stuff and like trends come come and go and come around and like leave again so I'm starting to like be okay with like dressing like early 2000s again because I feel like people are getting away from it and it makes me happier in a sense of like I don't have to walk into the mall and like feel like there's a whole bunch of like super tacky pattern things that are like I like the original of and now I just see a lot of it and I'm like I don't know if I even like the original anymore because I see so much of it I feel like you need titties for this a little bit more. But this is cute. Like this little doony. My, my camera has been on red battery for this whole entire time. How did it not die? Am I gonna be annoyed with myself because I'm gonna look and I'm just gonna be like this in every in every photo I'm gonna be like <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stick with the like pants for now. These are like these DKNY vintage pants these are like a 24 waist the fact that i got these on i am impressed they're a little bit short like i think that they're definitely for somebody who's like five foot they'd be perfect for i'm a little bit too tall for these or they could just be like a cute little capri pant too for somebody who's super tall like six foot they could also be cute Like, I like the look of it like this, but I feel like people are going to want to see the, the full effect, you know? Okay, maybe this. So I can just, like, do this. It would be a little bit better, but you could really see the belly. The belly belly in the knees, because these are a little tight. A little bit too tight. Definitely a good pair for my petite girls. Definitely a good pair if you are literally five feet. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, bongo jeans, such a slay. Anytime I see a pair of bongo jeans, I'm getting them at the thrift. These ones are a little bit too big for me. But they're so cute. Like, I love the band. Okay, what can we talk about next? Because when I'm doing pants, like, I don't really show my face, so it's, like, the best time to talk about some things. But honestly, the other thing that I've been dealing with is hormonal acne. That's why I haven't been filming the most content in the last month. My acne flared up so badly, and I literally... I've always had acne prone skin like if you've been following me for a while you guys know I'm confident enough to like go on camera and when I even when I have the most shitty skin but my skin 
got so bad when I was in Europe that I literally didn't even want to film. So that's kind of where I've been hiding. But honestly, it's getting better. I went back on birth control. We don't have to talk about all that. But I don't know if it's because like this is like your body's sign of telling you that you need to have kids at this age. But like a lot of my friends and people have been dealing with this recently. Like my extent, I always feel like mine's the worst. And then again, it goes back to my habits of like being healthy and everything like that. Like relearning like I never learned the healthiest of habits like that's the one thing that I've learned is like what because I was an athlete and like I was so skinny and like I didn't have to watch what I ate and like blah, 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 blah. I never really learned many like healthy eating habits and healthy taking care of myself habits so I feel like I'm definitely starting to learn that but as soon as I started to be healthy and everything my skin just started purging the other thing was I start when I I think this is the biggest factor it was the tretinoin I was like purging for eight months you're not supposed to purge for eight months I just think the product is too strong for my skin and it just didn't work for me and then I'm, now I'm dealing with so much scarring and like it's finally starting to settle down because I quit it like a month and a half ago now but like it just ruined my skin I'm not gonna lie I don't think tretinoin's for everybody because it's definitely not for me. Like my skin was not this bad before I started tret. And then after I stopped it, it's like I went through like a post-tret purge. Okay, we're gonna do some white pants. Can you see my underwear through these? These are so good. They're actually vintage Guess. And so many people at the pop-up tried these on and never ended up getting them. And I was like, hey, I'm going to keep them for myself. But I think it was because I brought them out like during the fall time. I brought it to that pop-up and like people were like not trying to get like white linen pants at that time. So I'm going to put them on my Depop. Cause this is all like summer stuff that I don't list like I don't list very much like summer things I'll put them away for like the winter time and especially because I was gone so now I came back to all of this good stuff to list it's like you're re-thrifting again but this is definitely a good indicator for how long it takes to do this stuff because I think people don't really realize how long taking photos is like it's been an hour and I've done like six uh, take take it like this obviously doing it this way with you guys and filming is gonna probably take a little bit longer with things but sometimes I just get distracted I keep clicking and then I'm like oh wait I definitely got this shot 19 times but everything's just a little bit different and I like to have variety and I like to like show everything in different ways i think it's important to have different shots even though i wish depop would let you post like six photos like i feel like four is just not enough it's just not enough that's why i'm excited to see how like whatnot works like i have not used it and on monday i'll have a meeting about how it works like i've kind of been looking at it like i don't i get it but i guess you have to like post photos of things and then you show them also in the auction like live I hope you guys can make it to my whatnot auction and I believe that you're gonna get like um if you sign up or whatever or maybe use my code I'm I'm still like working out the details like I haven't talked to them but you get like ten dollars so toward the auction so that could be pretty good the other okay we're gonna do this this is such a cute skirt oh my god this is such a cute look but these shoes enough e enough so this is such a summery vibe even though this is like um more of like a suede it still gives me like beachy vibes you know this is such a good look do you guys do all your bottoms at once and then switch to all your tops 
or do you like mix and match it really depends what mood i'm in like as soon as i get like a good a good angle for pants especially i'm like i'm sticking with pants for like the next at least five to eight items and then i'll switch it up once i get bored of taking pants like how does your brain work does your brain work the same way as mine do you guys take as long as me like i need to know because when i talk to other people they're like i try to list like 10 items a week i try to list like 10 items a night but i it is hard when i was on my grind i was definitely doing like a lot of more items but since depop added so many different like features i think it got a lot harder to like be as quick because they ask you so many questions and like so many things to fill out now and it definitely like is way more time consuming before it was just like pictures description size and price and now it's like so many more options with things and that's the tea what else do we have to talk about i hope you guys can hear me all right and everything like i don't know i don't know this might be such a flop but we'll see like i don't even know if this angle Ooh. i don't know even know how long it's been it's been like an hour already and i've done like eight things you guys do all your photos on your camera or do you guys do it on your phone because I'm a switcheroo. Sometimes I'll do camera, sometimes I'll do phone. If my phone is like being finicky with like storage, I'll do camera. But if it's being okay with storage, then I'll do phone. That's just the way it goes. Camera definitely takes so much longer, but sometimes it's like the storage issue. So I'll stick to the camera. There's literally pluses and minuses for all of it, but I like the, the simplicity and the like quickness and easiness of doing it on my phone. My camera takes longer. Okay, I change. Oh yeah, we're definitely going for a summer vibe with this look. I don't know what it is, but I'm ready for summer. Maybe because I leave for Florida in like a few days, two weeks. I'm so excited. Thriftcations are going to be coming your way. I'm so excited about that. I have not been to Florida in so long. We got the new house. It's going to be so aesthetically pleasing to the film. I'm excited to thrift. I'm excited to do all of that. It's going to be so fun. My cousin's also coming and she's my age, so we will have fun and she'll definitely take some con. I'm going to force her to make content for me and force her to take photos of me and force her to video me so that's always a fun time and then we're literally just gonna go to the beach look how cute these are though these are roxy like old roxy so good do they have the little roxy they do they have the little roxy Can you? that's the issue when i get to like a good pant that i want to take like the butt of then i'll like move to i will move to um shirts after i have to so after that after that not making sense I'm starting to lose it a little bit Do a little booty action. <sighs> these are so cute. Actually, I think I'll move up and I'll do these shorts next. These are so good. These are Echo. These like little Echo booty shorts. I have so many good booty shorts that I'm so excited about for the summertime. Okay. So this is the fits and I guarantee that somebody's going to ask me where I got my shirt from on Depop. And then they'll ask if it's for sale and this is why I don't like to style items with things from my wardrobe but it was sitting right here and I was like okay this would be a cute look. So it's my fault realistically because this is just what's going to happen. But 
We'll sell this bag too, probably. I'll do a little. Once I get into my groove though, I get into my groove. Because I wanted to start on photos with this light. So I'm gonna go later and then we do a little of this and this. We do a little bag action. This video might get scrapped. Like, I have no idea what's going to happen with this. But it's literally the perfect red bag for the summertime. I'm honestly in like my big chunky bag phase right now, but this is like a good mid. Like as long as the handle gives me a little bit of leeway, I like the bag. Like I don't want the handle to be like falling off. Like I don't like that. Like do you see how this one goes like lower than a typical mini bag? Mini bag. Cute though. I bought this for myself. Every time I buy something for myself, I just end up always reselling it. And I don't even like end up using it because I'm like, okay, whatever. It's here. It's cute. It's good for the styling. And then it's always the first thing to go <laughs> when I do this shit. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. My wholesale, if you guys want another, if you guys want a bundle, you can always message me for a bundle. Like, I don't really promote that I do bundles. But there's been a few people, because I've been posting TikToks um, with more like thrift stuff, people have been asking me about bundles more. And I don't like promote it really, but I definitely do can do bundles. Like if you want a bundle, I will definitely make you a bundle. You just have to ask like a personalized bundle. You just have to like ask me and like I'll do it. Give me some inspo like of what you want. And I will put that on the freaker together. Okay, let's do this bag while I'm here. That's what I typically like to do is like, if I'm already in a position, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another. Did it just get darker? I don't like that. This is so cute, it's gas. It's like a big pink bag. This is the vibe right now, big bag. This I got so long ago as well. I mean, everything I got so long ago now because it's been so long since I've been home. And then I'm leaving again. And I don't even know. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going to Edmonton for the summer. Like I'll fly back and forth probably a few times. Because my boyfriend is playing in Edmonton for the summer. And like I want to obviously be with him for the, the most amount of time that I can be with him while he's home. So I will probably be going to Edmonton for a couple months. So if any of you guys that watch me are from Edmonton, let me know what to do there. What is the thrifting like? So I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of content prior because, like, I don't know what's going to happen. I might end up just, like, flying back and forth a few times, come home for a week and do, like, a bunch of videos and deep hop photos and then fly back because there's gonna be some times where he's playing like around here or he has like a bunch of away games that I don't necessarily want to be there while he's not there for like a week long or whatever so I'll probably end up doing that so this turned into a life update episode of Melissa but if there's ever like anything that you guys want to talk about let me know like I can talk about long distance relationships I can talk about deep pop until the sun and the cows come home I can talk about fashion things that I'm liking trends that I'm loving but like I feel like I do that anyways while I'm like showing you guys the stuff so like that's just that you know so if you guys want that a little bit more if you want me to stick to fashion stuff let me know if you, want to, if you don't want my life updates i also don't have to talk to you guys about my life updates but yeah i think i might be going to edmonton i wanted to go back to montreal but he doesn't want to go back and play there so we are 
we are going to probably going to go to Edmonton, which I don't know how I feel. I was like indifferent about it because I am not like, oh, Edmonton's like a place that I want to visit. But also, it's probably really nice. It's in Canada, by the way. I don't even know if you guys know half like the provinces. It's a pro it's another province in Canada. It's pretty far. It's like a three hour flight. So I can't even drive there because it's like a 20 hour drive if I was trying to drive and that's not happening. So yeah, let's get the new fit on. Okay, just grabbed a couple more things to shoot today from the inventory room. I'm obsessed with these long tops and like a long, like look how good this is. It's so good. I thrifted the best ones like the other day, but honestly, I packed them all away to take photos of them in Florida, like all my really recent thrift finds. So you guys will have to wait to see those ones, but like I found some really good things. And then some more of my pants are just like down. Like this is the, com the comfort level we're at right now. But I think I'm gonna do a couple more pants and then I'll switch to tops. BRB. Oh, car. Okay, this is such a cute outfit. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. Again, just living kind of Lizzie McGuire, Hillary Duff vibes. I need to move this down a little. I feel like you guys almost get like a little thrift haul action while I'm doing this anyway. So it's kind of a win-win. And if you get some work done, it's a win-win-win. It's a triple win. That's kind of the whole reason I think maybe I'll put some like background music over this. Like I don't know. <laughs> Me like I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. That's winging it. Just winging it. Like I always do. The booty is definitely bootying in this. And you guys also like kind of get to see like it's kind of like lazy styling because I'm not like putting my full Budusi into it every look but like you gotta see a little style moment as well while I'm taking these photos which we obviously love I always do these faces like you cannot see my face in it and we done we done we done it's been, it's been like an hour I think I'm gonna like plug in this footage it's gonna be like three hours and I'm gonna have done like 10 things and I'm gonna be like so we're doing this video once a month <laughs> not every day I should have prefaced okay what do we want to do next sometimes I'm like so quick with it like I'm like okay this goes with this this goes with this and sometimes I'm like my brain my brain is not brainy I thought I brought more pants to do some more pants Ugh. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like, if my brain was braining, I would have done this first because I want this with, like, the diesel shirt. But it wasn't braining, so. Literally obsessed with this, with these. I thrifted them not long ago. Before I left, I thrifted them, so. I definitely missed all of my things. Like, that's the worst part about traveling is, like, I just missed... Especially a girl who loves clothes. Like, I just missed all my clothes. And I definitely missed my inventory. Hello. Sometimes this just doesn't work. It does not want to work. Do I need a little bag with this? Ooh, this could definitely be it. This is, like, my go-to bag. Like, this is what I bring to the thrift mostly. I just love a big bag for the thrift because you just shove all your things in it. Like, the one reason that I was, like, I, like, was so obsessed with mini bags, obviously, at one point in my life. And now I'm just, like, a big bag whore because you can shove everything in it. And that's exactly what I need for the thrift. I need to shove my camera. I need to shove my life. That's, like, it's, like, my car. It's, like, a mini car. Like, my car is always a mess because... I'm always trying to shove everything I need in it, especially if I'm like doing a lot of traveling and stuff. It's actually really clean right now because it got cleaned yesterday. But like when I was going back and forth for school, I literally lived out of my car. Like there was just like food, coffee, and thrift finds like all over the place. And I also used to love to leave like extra out. 
extra outfits in my car, hoops, whatever I think would I would need in an emergency. And that might not be an emergency to you, but to me, an extra outfit is always an emergency. And if I travel, like if I go somewhere in my car, the whole thing is filled with fits, just emergency fits, just in case. You never know what you're gonna need. Okay. She's done. I think I'm moving a little bit quicker now. Like the dresses is what takes me the longest because sometimes like I'll look at them later and I'm like, I don't like the angle of it. I don't like the way it turned out. I don't know why. Pants pretty quick. Tops pretty quick. Dresses and suits slow. Okay. I think it's time to just do a bunch of tops now and I go through tops pretty quickly. I want to re-up on my lip gloss. And then I'll do it. And these jeans are so good. They're guess perfect for these photos. I'm so excited to do these tops. Oh, maybe I could do like, no, you can still see. I was going to say like, I could do a little bend down. Okay. So this is the first one we're going to do. Are you kidding me? My dogs are going insane. Look at it. This is like the early 2000s, early 2000s, early 2000s. This is the, <laughs> it's perfect, dress over, over jeans moment. This is the most perfect dress over jeans moment, but it's not a dress, it's a shirt. Like, it's not long enough to be a dress, but it's perfect. It's a large though, so it's a little bit, uh, it's like a medium. It's like a medium, I would say. I might be labeled a large, it might be a large. I'm just talking out my ass. I can't, I don't even know anything right now, but it's a little bit big for me, so. Depop it is. But it's so cute. Are you kidding? It's so cute. I've been waiting for this moment for these dresses over tops to come back. I've been collecting for years. And like I used to put one on Depop and like nobody would want it. And now everybody wants them. This is why I love my job sometimes because I'm actually smart at it sometimes. Not always. Sometimes I'm actually smart at it. Not always. Okay. I need some more light. Let's see what's going on. And let's take them. What are we thinking? Do we need like a little necky? A little necklace with it? Do we need a bag? Maybe a bag would look good. I don't know if we're going this, if this is the vision, but... Is it too gold? It might be too gold. I need like more silver. And I think I have the perfect one here. Okay, this one definitely. This literally, this fit. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Respond to my boyfriend. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Anybody else reward themselves with like little, little treats? Like if I do something good, I'm like, it's probably so unhealthy because like if I do, like if I'm like, oh, if I get this task done today, I can do this. And then the this is like spend $500. Like girl, you literally made your bed. You don't need to go thrifting. There doesn't need to be a little reward for everything you do. This top is giving. I don't even remember when I thrifted this. It's been a while though. I've had it for so long. I keep a lot of things because I'm like, it's not their time yet. Like, I don't want to like put this on Depop and nobody wants it right now. It's not its time. Or sometimes I'll like, if, if I think it's a time and it doesn't even sell, I will re-photograph it when it is its time and it sells like always, always. I do some shoes too, but I've been having the worst time with shoes recently. Like I, size people like wrong sizing like oh, i just i'm not even gonna rant about it but so, like shoes i know you shoes they fall apart and like i get it but if you buy you shoes and you're like there's a scuff here like no shit they're used shoes like i just don't understand that part they're not going to be in perfect condition. Like I try my best to photograph everything. I try to like disclose 
what is happening but like i've been having them my mom's like we're not selling any more shoes because it's been such a bad like i've been refunding so many people for their freaking shoes lately and i'm like ugh. and i get it it's like part of it this whole outfit is so good no please take me i need to this outfit Do I need to make a TikTok in it? This shirt is literally stunning. Are you kidding me? Another just stunning piece. I feel like the bag is even, like it just needs its, its own moment. It's its own moment. I love a good early 2000s like summery knit like I've been so into summer knits recently like even just like this it's like super lightweight like just go to the beach with your swimsuit in the springtime and like put this over top of it I feel like that's such a vibe so I've been doing that a little bit and then yeah like something like this is just so cute and it's Ar Armani so it's like early 2000s it's cute another just absolute stunning early 2000s i think this is charlotte russe like vintage charlotte russe my favorite i'm really starting to get hungry though but it's been two hours so that makes sense but i'm definitely still pushing i don't know how long this video is gonna be should i just leave the whole two hours should i just a little depop asmr The best sweaters to thrift, honestly. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I have so many of these really great tops. I'm so happy. So obviously the chatting has stopped, but I'm getting shit done, okay? Okay. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Love early 2000s flowy top for the summertime. Okay, the other thing. Realistically, I've been listening to you guys basically more because a lot of like what I'm doing, like a lot of you guys were saying, like bring back what to wear Wednesday, bring back the work with me's. So this is kind of like work with me, but just like elevated. Same with Watch Wear Wednesday, I brought a microphone, which is a little more elevated. And this is just like a more like talkity talk kind of work with me. And longer content format. Cars just keep parking in front of my house and I'm like, um, hello. Not a fan of that. Fairy-esque. I think this also might be vintage Charlotte Roofs. It's just so cute and I actually have two of them found on two different separate trips and like all like quite a few like moments in between like months in between and i think different areas too but this is gorgeous i'm not ready to solve this bag some of the bags like i need to keep because i like to style with them okay i'm gonna do a couple accessories so i'm actually gonna do this belt right now sometimes i'm like what's the best way for this belt I ordered Thai food. So when that comes, I'm like, okay, this is my Depop photo taken done for the day. What time did I start? Like 11.30, 12.30, 1.30. It's been two hours. Two hours is like when I start to get a little crazy. And then three hours, I'm like, okay, I am done for the day. Three hours is a lot of photos and like changing and like all that. Because then I have to do all of the the guts of everything and that's the part I don't like I actually I actually love taking photos I love shopping and I love taking photos but it's just like the listing part that I hate 
like if I could just give the listings to somebody like give the photos to somebody and they do everything else I would literally be a millionaire like I would be able to get so many more done but I literally take so long doing the listings because I just like can't sit still but yeah I feel like I could come on here and literally talk to you guys about like things that are happening or just depop stuff obviously this is kind of like an unplanned like this was not planned really like I was like just I'm like I'm gonna wing it but like I could literally plan a little bit of things like more so things to talk about and make it not like a podcast because like I did have a podcast at one point but I just like I don't like talking that much about like certain things that are like going on in the world and like I don't like talking about like YouTube drama or anything so when you're trying to do a podcast with somebody who's like like into that more and then you're more into like the fat it's like hard to into fashion it's like more like it's hard to find a middle ground so I feel like it just was hard and it was it's hard to like stick by something when I'm traveling so much and you're trying to do like an in like during COVID it was obviously a lot easier because I was just stuck at home but now I'm literally I'm, I'm literally gone for eight months of the year like I'm home for like six months of the year that's it so that's where the pod I know some of you guys really like the podcast so I'm like this is kind of like a little bit of podcast but just like working with me a little bit more so I can get some shit done while also talking to you guys and I like that so let's continue this for now and we shall change maybe once I eat my Thai food but the other thing is like after I eat I'm like I'm bloated and I want to sit down and I don't want to do anything after I eat I go sit by my fire this is so cute as well I feel like with this brown bag like this brown bag is everything it just goes so well with everything I need some more lace and I need some more denim dresses to sell denim is just like little mini denim dresses every time I put one up right now it's selling like a hot cake so I need to go thrift some more of that kind of vibe I'm actually thinking about going to the thrift tonight but I just don't really want to spend that much money because obviously with me traveling so much now I have so much inventory in general so I'm like I don't necessarily need more inventory but I want to do like a tri trip to like a few trip to the thrift so I'm trying to not go to the thrift store unless I'm filming for you guys because then it's like justified but my like my ass will go to the thrift store every day if I don't contain myself but I'm thinking about going because then I'm like I don't need to go because I'm going to Florida and I want to thrift a lot in Florida so I don't want to go because I want to obviously save all of my build up of wanting going thrifting for when I'm in Florida but a bitch can always go thrifting so we'll see quite obviously need a tan I don't even have any like self tanner on right now this washes me out so badly but if you have a darker complexion this would look so good on you okay at least on camera it's super washed out but here it's not as bad oh my god this would look so good for like when you're tan though or if you have a darker complexion as I mentioned maybe I should bring this to Florida Again, the brown bag, it goes with everything. I've pretty much stopped putting my face in any of my Depop photos, which defeats the fact that I do my makeup. It depends how I'm feeling that day, honestly. This look is so good though. Even with these, oh my God, this is such a vibe. These are so good, I'm definitely keeping these for myself or just like to take photos. They fit me so well. Like, I'm obsessed with them. They're like the perfect low rise, and I love the pocket. I'm keeping them. So, don't ask, don't ask. Because <laughs> you guys always ask. And then I'm like, okay, fine, I'll sell them. Let me keep them, please. Another great, like, summer crochet knit. It's like vintage garage. This drop is gonna be fire. But I pretty much need to take Depop photos all weekend because. I have Sarah's birthday party tomorrow, but like I'm going, but I don't know if I'm going to drink. I think I might just drive home. Um, 
I don't drink that much anyways. I might have like one little like cider and then stay for a while and then leave because I'm not drinking and driving obviously. But um, that way I'm not hungover on Sunday. So I can get work done. I hate the feeling of being hungover and it just doesn't, my stomach is already so messed up. Like drinking does not make it any, <laughs> any better at all. Okay, so lace has been so big. Like anytime I put anything lace on Depop itself, so it was like this lace oversized it's so cute. This blouse is actually my grandmother's. If she watches this, this is stunning. Maybe I should keep this. She's literally gorgeous. I feel like this is such a vibe. I can only say that so much. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My vocab only goes so far. I did not pay attention in school, okay? I'm a creative person. I'm a creative. I'm a creative. <laughs> I'm a visual, I'm a visual learner. Did not listen. I don't even know if it needs a bag. Like, it's just so good. What do we think? What are our thoughts? Lace has been so big. Like, I kind of love it though, because there's so much lace at the thrift. Obviously there's like a difference though. Like there's some tacky ass looking lace pieces. And I think that's like, it's hard to kind of spot the difference sometimes. So you kind of have to have an eye for it. And that's why reselling can be so hard because a lot of people don't keep up with trends. And like they think it's like as easy as like one, two, three, like go to the thrift, thrift some things, but it's not like that. You have to kind of know what's, what people are liking right now, people are not liking. And it can be really challenging. And that's why a lot of people don't end up doing well at reselling. It also just takes so much time and effort. I'm here for this bra underneath though. This might be a little bit PG-13, too PG-13 for for the YouTube chan, but rated R, rated R. Definitely not PG-13, that's not the right terminology. I don't know what bag I would put with this though. Maybe that red would look good, but I feel like it's just such a, as of pop-ups, I think that we might be doing one in May, but I'm not 100% sure yet on things I want to put one together with all the girls or who knows Sarah's always like planning things so I'm sure she has probably something in the works we'll see we'll see I'm gonna obviously I need to see like I haven't seen her in so long but I'll see her tomorrow for her birthday I also need to go get her something like I don't know oh wait I actually had something that I wanted to give to her I might have to go thrifting because I need to get her something and I feel like a thrifted moment is definitely the vibe. Okay, I wanted to get something. I'll be back. Okay, I'm so here for this bra underneath. I've had this bra forever. It's like probably early 2000s, like 2008, 2012 is probably when I got this. <sighs> definitely didn't get it in 2000, probably like 2013, 2014. Maybe it could have been 20, 2012. I was in high school. I was like, was I? How old was I? <laughs> like, do, did I even need bras by then? But it could have been definitely 2012. And it's like old La Senza. And I, I used to buy these big bras because I was like, oh my god. It never fit me, but now it fits me. And it's so cute with like a sheer top over top of it. You know I need the red bag? I'm thinking red bag. Oh yeah, we're thinking red bag. This is so good. Okay, next. I'm actually getting so much work done. Like I feel like at first I was like kind of slow because I was like maybe talking too much and now I'm like, okay, now I'm getting a lot of work done. So maybe you guys will be re-invited to the party, to the photographing. We'll see how this goes. We'll see if anybody even watches this. Just call me the black lace bandit. If it's black lace, I'm buying it. This is so good. I actually kind of want to go get the, sh the, I thrifted this dress the other day and I kind of want to go get it. Cause like I packed it all for Florida, but I'm like, I want to show you guys. This is so cute. Mm. 
nor but do I keep this for myself another just incredible moment again this is like such a good vibe for Florida because it's like lacy but this is a little bit more covered up which is nice I love it okay hold on BRB getting my food okay I think I'm gonna call it a day I think I did like 25 items ish which is pretty good and I just ate so I'm just like just want to like chill out for a second and then the sun's gonna start to be too sunny and so I think I got enough done for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know if this happens again I don't know but we'll see okay anyways I'll catch you guys in the next one